I'm sorry. There we go. I'm there. There we go. Uh, do a roll call quick. Uh, let's see. Alderperson Ackley? Here. Uh, Phillips? I saw her on there. Alderperson Phillips? <clears throat> we'll skip ahead to all the first Slaglio. Present. All the persons, all the person Sorensen. Here. Okay. And I see Rose online, but I Devin Hurt. Okay, well we'll go up, we'll move on. And we also have with us online, um, let's see, Dave Beeble, uh, Jason Blaziola, and Thomas Cameron, and Steve Chaucer. And in the chambers. And Mayor Vanderstein. And Mayor Vanderstein. All righty. Uh, move on to Pledge of Allegiance. Start at 2.1, approval of minutes. Move to approve. Second. Motion's been made by Ryan, seconded by Marcus. Any discussion on them? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Minutes are approved. Uh, start out with 3.1. RO 97-2021, document 3.6, submitting a communication from Michael Thomas, President of Black American Community Outreach regarding Juneteenth Day celebration. So, is that, for Joe? Is that Joe? Okay. Yeah, um, this was given to me uh, to write the IFC for, so pretty much everything I know is in the IFC. You know, okay. the, re the request in the letter that was attached was, you know, they've came in, they've secured the date of the Qantas Field House, and they were hoping that the city would either waive the funds uh, fee or, or pay the fee. So um, all I can say, generally, the city most events, most larger events in the city parks are not profit organizations. So basically all I could say is it's not really a, the, been the policy of waiving fee events. Now, in the case that um, like uh, 4th of July, yeah. where the event is part of the city, the city is, is, is part of that, um, yeah. you know, that event is a partner, well then that, that could be different. But um, so after talking with David, Don, David Beeble, basically we're asking the committee to, to make the decision on this. Okay. In the past. Chairman we'll Decker? Yes, go ahead. Um, you know, I received this communication from Michael Thomas, who's uh, president of the Black American Community Outreach Group. And last year, uh, we did, or I did, issue a proclamation for Juneteenth uh, uh, celebration. It was the first time that a proclamation's ever been uh, issued for that event. And last year, during COVID, uh, we uh, weren't renting out any of our facilities, but we did allow the gentleman who was uh, planning the Juneteenth celebration to use the land park at no charge um, so that this event could take place last year. Uh, the uh, Black American Community Outreach Group had not formed at that point, but uh, they now are formed and, and they want to uh, take on this Juneteenth Day celebration. Um, 
I'm not sure if uh, this is going to be uh, an event that's going to be raising a lot of money with revenues or if this is just going to be more of a celebration with some entertainment and things for uh, the community to enjoy. But um, it might behoove us to, to maybe hold this so that we could understand their event a little bit more and, uh, and then make a decision on whether or not we want to consider this a city co-sponsored event or not. Okay, okay. Does anyone else have uh, any comments? Yeah, I got, I got this. Is, it's Ryan. Go ahead, um, Ryan. I, I guess um, I'm, I'm interested. I'm, I guess I would just be in favor of, of granting them. I'm trying to turn on my webcam there. Uh, I guess I'm in favor of just kind of maybe going ahead and granting and waiving the fees for this nonprofit. I think it's it's a newer group, um, and I think this is a good way to kind of show some good support and solidarity from the city to this group as well um, for us just to kind of get them started as well. I don't know what their financials are um, in paying fees and stuff like that, but this is a good good way for them to to get their name out there and just kind of drum up support. And, Maybe moving forward in the future, we can have other discussions and conversations about, um, you know, um, how 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 we go about hosting an event. But I guess I'll just for conversation's sake, I'll move that we waive the fees for this organization. Second. Okay. Uh, Motion is made by Brian, seconded by Marcus. Uh, is there any other discussion on this at all? I guess I would be more in favor of holding it as what the, as, as what the mayor requested, but um, I, I will you know, go with what the group goes with. I guess um, I, I I think that it's somewhat um, you set to set the precedent right now. I think is um, is a little bit. You know, I, I would like to kind of get out, you know set the if we would do this, that this would be a one time thing, and that in the future because you've got other groups. The Hmong group, the Greeks, um, all they, they they all have and they all pay their park fees, correct, Joe? I mean, yes, that is correct, and, and that's my concern. Is is not that you know once you give once you open that door, once you open Pandora's box, very hard to close it. Yeah, and I think definitely we should clarify too that this this is just kind of a one time thing, um, just kind of a, a startup. Um, just a startup good gesture, goodwill from us. And I think if, if we say that, and I know a lot of the other organizations have had that long consistency um, and support in the community, um, but if we can, you know, help any nonprofit, I think it's, it's our obligation and duty as public officials to help be a catalyst for that. Chair Decker? Yes, go ahead, Mayor. Um, you know, I think if, if we follow through and approve this motion, uh, we could ask them to come and uh, make a short presentation at the council meeting prior to uh, approving, uh, you know, or, or disapproving uh, this recommendation that uh, that Ryan's proposed. Yeah, so I, I would definitely recommend that just to have them come and speak. Uh, that, that was, like I said, um, my hope would be to have them smoke either speak either at this committee or at the council meeting. Is there any other discussion on this? Other, other person, Decker? Yes, go ahead, Thomas. One, uh, one I guess, sort of, sort of mechanical <clears throat> point. Um, so the, the fees are currently set by, by ordinance, and, and as written, there's no, no provision for sort of waiving, waiving those fees. Um, so I would, I would just want to make sure that we're, we're doing that in in a way that is appropriate and in keeping with the, the ordinance that has been previously uh, previously adopted. So, you know, right, right now, um, I believe it's, it's before the committee with a communication and an RO. I think the, the recommendation or the sort of the thought is to make a, a motion. Um, I think I presume uh, Alder Person Sorensen, that's sort of a, a motion to, a, to recommend the uh, the council waive the fee. Um, maybe a, a slight variation on that would be a recommendation to have staff draft the document to, to waive that fee, uh, which might also be in keeping with uh, Alder Person Vanders or excuse me, uh, Mayor Vanderstein. I didn't want to didn't want to change your title, Mayor. Um, <laughs> Mayor Vanderstein's thought of, of gathering a little bit more information, and maybe that would move. Um, the 
presentation back to the Public Works Committee, uh, potentially. So you would recommend that we hold and you, we, we, we draft a separate document? So it, it, it could still be a motion from the, the committee um, instructing staff to, um, to prepare the necessary documents to, to effectuate sort of what, what the, the will of the committee is. Um, it's just a, a matter of making sure that it's done in, in an appropriate way in keeping with the code as it currently exists. So would Ryan have to change the motion then, or? I, I, it would, would require uh, an amendment to that, that initial okay. motion. Okay. I, I should, I'm within the spirit of, of the staff recommendation. You know. okay. I'm also good with it as the second. Okay. So we first have. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I'm not capable of speaking. Um, and I, you might want to just double have Thomas verify this, but I, but I don't think, I, from my recollection, I used to, as the director of public works, had the ability to waive fees um, within my authority on other on, on their other part fees such as this. I think, what, but this, because it's new, and um, given the sensitive nature of this, working with the mayor's office and Joe and I, we just wanted to bring it to everyone's attention and not just have it as typically a lot of this just comes to staff level and it's, it's, it's handled at a staff level, in other words. So um, I'm, I'm happy with either way, Thomas, and, and, and whatever is the cleanest, um, I'm happy with that. I just, I just wanted to just to let everyone know that, though. So. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, the, the, the director of public works and Joe is the superintendent of parks. Uh, we have, have a great deal of authority here. I think my, um, I don't know that hesitation is the right word, but uh, wanting to make sure that we, we've documented this, especially since it's already gotten to um, sort of to council, uh, just make sure that it is clearly documented what it is that we're doing. And, I, and, I, and again, I, I have no problem with that. I, I think that that's that's fine with me. Okay, so I'm kind of. I'll be honest. I'm a little confused. So now, do we do we still do this motion in this way, or is it just to, is it just a motion to is it just a motion to 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 direct staff? Then is that? And I guess, I, I guess I'm comfortable moving forward with the motion just so it's on the record as well. Moving forward with a motion to, so, so what do we do with the other motions now? Do I have to, uh, do we have to first? Thomas, what do we need to do then? Do we, if, if we're, are we just gonna go with, it, with having a recommendation? So what, what I believe the motion is, um, was Alderperson Sorensen's motion sort of as, as modified by my recommendation, uh, which was accepted by Alderperson Sabaglio, to have staff draft a document to implement what um, what may well be the, the will of, of the committee. Certainly the committee can vote down that motion, um, and then the, the document would be prepared. Okay, so... Um, Alderperson Sorensen and Alderperson Sabaglio, if I've misunderstood what the, the motion on the on the floor is um, that that wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> okay, so first we would, or you know, enough, enough, you know what, <clears throat> Ryan, could you repeat? Ryan, could you repeat? I did not hear what you said. Oh. Okay, I, I just said you know whatever we can do to help help support a, a growing <clears throat> acting good faith on this one. Um, I think that's, that's just kind of the point I'm making, so. Okay, um, so then what, what I guess we have to do first is we have to, to uh, vote on the, uh, the um, amendment, correct? Is there any other comment on the, on the amendment? All those in favor of the amendment, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, the amendment passes. Then we'll go back to the original uh, proposal. Um, 
Any other comment on that? All those in favor of that? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> Chair votes aye. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. Three point two resolution one seventeen twenty. <clears throat> Document 4.3, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a master agreement for professional services with Short Elliott Hendrickson Incorporated, SEH, to provide on-call engineering services for the wastewater treatment plant. <clears throat> Steve, is this yours? Yeah. So, um, you might remember earlier in the year we had a similar agreement with Donahue. Um, this is, is the same thing. It, it gives us the ability to kind of go out for bids on some of our smaller jobs. Uh, we're trying to get prepared for that to next year's budget to replace the blower, and they were uh, the low, low bidder by quite a bit. Um, and so we just thought we'd have an agreement with them, and as these projects come up, um, I go out and, and uh, provide them a scope and see who comes in the lowest. And if they need to do the work, then that's who we go with. So, okay. same thing as we have with Donahue. Um, I don't know if there's any questions. Is there any motion on this or any discussion? Make a motion to approve. I'll second. second. Motion's been made by Marcus, seconded by Betty. Uh, any other discussion on it? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Motion carries. 3.3, .3, quarterly performance report for Department of Public Works. Discussion only. Uh, is this David or is this, okay. Yes, yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, again, consistent with uh, past quarterly reports. Uh, this is for your information and review. Uh, I have um, the, the superintendents are, are available um, either in person or online here this evening to answer any questions. Um, but as you can see from many of the measurements and looking at um, the, the, the data provided, Given that the, all the challenges that we've had with COVID this season, um, very, very proud of the amount of work we were able to accomplish as a department with uh, limited resources. We, we did not fulfill our complement of seasonal employees that we would typically bring on during our, our, our busy time of the year, such as the third quarter. And um, nevertheless, we were still able to have high production and uh, ramp things up. So, again, uh, for your information, and I entertain mo uh, any any type of uh, questions from from the other persons present this evening. And again, for details, the the superintendents will will help um, provide that data. Any uh, questions for Director Beebel? Any other discussion on this at all? Um, I, I, I will say that I, I'm very comp uh, I'd like to compliment the director and his, and his staff uh, for all the challenges that they've worked through in the, through, through, through with COVID, and uh, I 
keep keeping everything in line has been uh, very good with it. So, uh, anything else? Then I guess we'll entertain a motion to, uh, since we've exhausted the agenda, entertain a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any, Aye. Oppo any opposed? Chair votes aye. We are adjourned. <laughs>